Greetings Earthlings, I hope you're doing well. My name is Kelly Shanaya and I am reintroducing the new me. If you don't know me, I am an Angolan influencer and social media content creator. My main segments are lifestyle, beauty, self-care and fragrances. And I decided to return to YouTube after two years of being away. Honestly, I'm really nervous for this comeback because Ugh. I mean, it's been a while and the reason why I left YouTube in the first place was just because my camera broke and I was so used to recording with a camera that I just couldn't record with my phone. I tried recording with my phone for the last video I posted, which was two years ago on my 24th birthday. And it was so chaotic. It was so hard just to edit and film. It was too much. I decided I wasn't going to film for YouTube until I got a new camera. And to be honest, I didn't have the budget to buy a new camera at the time. I still don't. <laughs> One of my really good friends told me that I should just record with my phone and I was like, no, that's ghetto. Hey, no shade to anyone who makes content for YouTube with their phone, it's just not me. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've always used a camera, so I don't know, I'm just, I don't have the muscle memory. I don't have the muscle coordination to film with a phone. But my friend told me, you have to make meets end. Because to be honest, I miss YouTube and I miss YouTube a lot. I kept watching all these girls that I'm really inspired from just continuing their YouTube journey and I was thinking like what would happen if I didn't stop because I started my YouTube channel in 2016 I was very inconsistent with it but when I did post I actually got some really good feedback on YouTube and I miss just making long videos where I just talk to you guys so yeah I just listened to my friend and decided to record with my phone because I don't think I'm casa con gato and until I get a new camera this is what it's going to be me recording with my phone if you're wondering why I'm only speaking English in this video it's because I decided to put my YouTube channel back on its original default settings which was a YouTube channel in English because I used to live in the UK and to be honest because I feel like I have been ashamed of not being the typical Angolan influencer because I spoke two languages so mixing Portuguese and English is just something that comes naturally to me and I felt like a lot of times I didn't really fit in in the typical Angolan influencer genre because everybody would throw shade at me mixing English with Portuguese I've had people telling me that I'm trying to be American by force because I knew two languages weird it sort of became my brand on Instagram and on TikTok but I felt like people couldn't really relate to me and sometimes I kind I kind of felt left out because I couldn't really engage with the Angolan audience speaking Portuguese and English. So I decided to take something that makes me feel awkward within the Angolan community and turn it into something that makes me feel empowered and more able to grow my own community and my own platform. The second reason why I decided to make content in English for my YouTube channel is because being a black influencer in Portugal, it's hard. <laughs> when I'm in Angola, trust me, I feel the love of my community for my content, but living in Portugal and being an influencer, it's way harder to grow because of a lot of reasons that I don't think I need to mention. But also the Portuguese language itself, it's very limiting when it comes to growing a platform. You can attract the interest of Portuguese brands or Angolan brands, but that's gonna be about it. Unless you find a place in the Brazilian market. I think the fact that I speak both Portuguese and English it's a way of me connecting with people from different ends of the world all my videos on YouTube will be in English with Portuguese subtitles so anyone from my Angolan or Palops community can feel welcomed in my channel and people from other ends of the world regardless of where you are as long as you speak English you have a place in my channel but yeah I'm really excited for this new chapter of my life on YouTube because it's something that I I kind of like I just fell off and I forgot how to do YouTube so rediscovering what I am now on YouTube it's gonna be it's gonna be trippy <laughs> because I have changed so much since my last video I was 24 in my last video I'm 26 now and I'm gonna turn 27 in June next year so I've changed my ways I've changed my stand on certain topics i've changed my perspective and how i view the world from that last video till now i have grown so much talked so much i've been on podcasts giving my very controversial but honest opinion i've gone viral for my lives i've gone viral for my tiktoks i've gone viral for speaking of perfumes and that's just that's just how life is going for me right now and i want to share this new chapter of my life with you guys so if you like vlogs self-care body care skin care fragrances hair care just chit chat asking questions asking for advice you have a place here <laughs>
and if you're new to my channel hopefully you come to stay i also want to make very clear that i do not tolerate any sort of disrespect on my platform towards me or my community or my followers i just don't take it for anyone who already knows me they already know how this mouth works when it comes to clapbacks so if you have anything mean to say just keep it to yourself because no one needs that negative energy here obviously my first video on youtube wouldn't be a kelly shania video without fragrances right it just wouldn't if you made it this far in the video let's talk about my 10 favorite fragrances for the winter well as i told you already i live in portugal and it's cold as hell it's cold and rainy i think like portuguese weather just needs to pick a struggle either you're gonna rain or either you're gonna be cold you can't be both capital b capital o capital a capital f both yeah that's what we're dealing right now you guys already know that a lot of fragrances perform differently according to the weather or the season perfumes that are just strictly summer fragrances others that are just winter fragrances today we're going to talk about my favorite winter fragrances some that you can find in angola some that you can find here and some that you can just get anywhere in the world so let's stop the rambling and get into these perfumes i'm going to start off with the fragrances that you can find in angola because i know how difficult it is to find good fragrances in angola and i have to help my people first if you know me from instagram or tiktok you already know that i am a magnu ambassador magnu is an angolan perfumery that makes dupes they usually make dupes for niche fragrances but they also have dupes for like the most popular and commercial fragrances the first one i have here is called ajani afro life which is a dupe for the Ajan provocateur aphrodisiac oh did you see how that first just slipped so yeah this is a very this is definitely a winter fragrance because i wore it in the summer and i hated it <laughs> but then i tried it here in portugal and it's so much better it's a very sweet honey fragrance it's a very strong um amber and honey notes it's very warm but it's definitely not for the faint at heart i'm gonna put the notes of the perfume somewhere here so you guys can have an idea of what they smell like but this fragrance is very old money like it's not sweet to the level that everyone around you would love your smell but it's very addictive very feminine and every time i wear this in the winter with a nice fur coat i just feel like sofia ricci one thing about magnus fragrances is that they have such a high concentration of the parfum which is the extract of the perfume like the actual essence that makes the perfume smell good you can actually see the oil on the bottle and when you put it on it leaves this oily residue that just makes the fragrance last longer so good from magnus still we have butlerinaya which is a dupe for killian i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess if you know me you know this is my go-to vanilla fragrance i'm a gourmand girl and this is my favorite gourmand perfume my favorite base for all of my sweet fragrances and it drives men insane every time i wear this in combination with another sweet fragrance i just i be swimming in compliments it pairs really well with ariana grande sweet like candy you will just smell like you'll just smell edible you might you might risk you know getting bitten because it is what it is obviously because it's a roll-on perfume you just have to like pass the roller ball on your pulse points but they have a bigger version of this as well you can get the original Killian. the price is not too friendly so i'm 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 gonna stick with magnum on this one up next we have cadman charles which is a dupe for the show part casimir oh. oh fuck this is a very boozy vanilla, very grown. Imagine rum and raisins ice cream with a vanilla base. It's basically this one. It smells so delicious. Also very mature. I don't think it's, it, I think it's the kind of fragrance that you have to wait for the notes to develop on your skin to really love it. Because when I first smelled it, I was like, this smells like nail polish. But as time went by and I started developing the heart and base notes, it just smelled so creamy and delicious and it was just so yummy so yeah boozy vanilla rum and raisins with a touch with a lot of vanilla basically <laughs> last one from magno it's manefero lucci which is a dupe for the maison francis courtian wood satin mood now if you know you know Oud Satin Mood is one of the sexiest oud fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. It's very old money, like literally very old money. It's not for the faint at heart. It has a, it's a combination of oud and vanilla and it has a tinsy bit of rose. But this is definitely not for the oversprayer. Let me tell you something. I am an oversprayer. And the first time I tried this, I took a shower in it 
And next thing I know, I couldn't stop coughing because it was so strong. This is such a strong perfume. And one thing about these perfumes from Magno, you don't need to touch it up. It will last all day. But yeah, I think this one in combination with like a rose fragrance or a vanilla fragrance because it already has vanilla in it. But if you get like a sweeter vanilla, it's really bossy as well. It's a fragrance that demands attention. So when you walk in, it, you will definitely turn heads with this one. Up next, we have Dolce Gabbana The One, which is a classic. This one I got as a gift from Fidelga Perfumaria in Luanda. It's very creamy, very powdery. And it has like this leathery touch at, at the very bottom. That just didn't work for me in the summer. But when I started wearing it here, it smelled amazing. And I was like, huh, okay. I'm more of a girly girl type of fragrance, but this one is very unisex, but I still, I still wear it because it smells so good in the winter that, you know, why not? It's a very everyday fragrance. It is not something that is going to blow people's minds. But if you want to smell nice and sophisticated, this is a great choice. You can find this one anywhere here. You can find it at Sephora. You can find it at Perfumes y Compania. You can find it at Fidalga. You can find it anywhere. Obviously, this wouldn't be a video of my favorites without some Zara. Y'all already know. One of my favorite winter fragrances from Zara, it's this one, which is called Fashionably London, which is a dupe for um, Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marly. If you know Delina, you know that it's a very sexy rose fragrance, very feminine. And this one does exactly the same job. And it lasts a very long time because this is actually a Eau de Parfum. You gotta pay attention to that for when you shop for fragrances at Zara. The most popular ones are mostly Eau de Toilette. That's why they're cheaper. This one is from a different collection. This is from the City collection and it has here Eau de Parfum. So it's more expensive and it lasts longer. It's a very warm, rosy fragrance. It's just sexy, you know? This is great. Let me tell you something. This is so great with a perfume like Oud Satin Mood, the one from Magno, or with any Oud fragrance, a touch of rose on top. It would... Oh. It just gives you that Arab money type of experience. In the winter especially, this smells even greater. Next, we have this one from Divine, which the number has already rubbed off from the label. But it was number 643, which is a dupe for the Dior Eau d'Espahan. And now I am coming clean and confessing to the world that I don't wear the original Dior Eau d'Espahan. I've tried it before in store, but the price wasn't too, it wasn't too kind to my wallet. This is Divine, this is a Spanish brand of literally fragrance dupes and they have a really extensive collection. I found this one which does the exact same job as the original Ulis Pahan and every time I wear this, I literally get asked all the time, what are you wearing? My story with this fragrance, or just with Udis Pahan in general, it just came from when I spent my first spring break in London and I stayed in Knightsbridge. And Knightsbridge is filled with shisha bars and I stayed at a building at my friend's grandma's house. I stayed at a building where most of the um, tenants were um, Middle Eastern and Middle Eastern people know their ish about fragrances, okay? they do every time they went on the lift or just by the corridor it just they just left this wonderful trail of like oud fragrances i would go outside and there's a lot of shisha bars in knightsbridge and the shisha bars didn't have your typical vanilla watermelon flavors that any bardeado smokes they had like exotic flowers and these very decadent fragrances and smells to the shisha bars so my nose would usually mix up the oud that I would smell in the building and the flowers from the shisha bars when I went outside. I decided that I really wanted a fragrance that smelled like that and I found it on Udis Pahan. But because I couldn't afford Udis Pahan, I got Divine 643, does the exact same job. And let me tell you one thing about dark liquid on perfumes. You see how with dark liquor, it will take three business days for your hangover to go away. It's the same thing with dark liquid perfumes. See this, once you wear them, it will take you at least two showers to get it off your skin. And at least two washes to get it off your clothes. Be careful for what you wish for. Definitely not to be oversprayed. But yeah, every time I wear this, I just smell like a shake's wife. I smell incredibly rich. I smell like a billion, I, I literally smell like a leisure woman who does nothing in life but to be rich and enjoy the simple pleasures of life that cost over $50,000. That's just that's just how I smell like. 
So this is a fragrance that helps me manifest the rich life I want because I smell like it. <laughs> Now we're gonna move up to a black owned brand. I mean, Magnum is also black owned. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is from a fellow YouTuber called Penola Lawson. She is a French YouTuber. She does lifestyle content and she also speaks a lot about fragrances. And she has her own fragrance brand. So shout out to Penola. Her fragrance brand is called Lawson Paris. And this, this is Charmel Oud. And let me tell you. When I first saw this bottle, because she sent me all three of them, when I first saw this bottle, I was like, were they trying to copy Miss Dior? But then I smelled it. And trust me, the scent profile has absolutely nothing to do with Miss Dior. This is a very oody, chocolatey, gourmand fragrance. And it's a very, it's a very new combination to me. I've never seen oud and chocolate together or cacao together. But when I smelled it, when I first smelled it, I didn't like it at all. I was like, oh my God, this smells like, ugh, what is this? But then I smelled it on a piece of, on the piece of paper that came with the box and I just let it dry and I let it stay for a while. And after a few hours, I went back to smell it and it was the most delicious, warm, decadent, chocolatey smell with oud and some, I mean, it was just delicious. This is a very grown woman scent. If you're under 25, please don't wear this. This is not for the youngins. Please leave this to us. Look at me talking like I'm 30. But yeah, leave this to us. Cause if you're if you're a teenager wearing this, there's just something you need to reevaluate some things in life. It's a very grown woman, very sexy, very boozy, mature, rich, luxury. I mean, mm, it's just it's just it's that girl. It's really that girl. Again, what I told you guys about dark liquid in perfumes. You don't play with it. I remember one time I wore this and I went to bed and the next day I woke up and I still smelled like it. So yeah, Penola, shout out to you. Cause this is such a unique feminine grown fragrance. And the fact that it's made by a black woman, African woman to be more specific, I'm just, I'm so proud. I love this. And last but not least, also from La Son Paris, it's Econ. Again, dark liquid. How would I describe Econ? Econ is the fragrance that if God asked me, you can only smell like one thing for the rest of your life and that's going to be your natural smell. I would choose this. It is such a, it's so versatile. It doesn't have the same scent profile, but it has the same versatility as Carolina Herrera, good girl. It's so huggable. This is very cozy, very huggable. It's fruity. It has a lot of pineapple in it. I feel like this is a lovely fragrance to wear like on your wedding day or on a date night with someone that you actually like, not a Tinder date, just someone you actually like. You actually care about what you smell like around this person. It's a beautiful fragrance. Just, it smells like love, hugs, self-esteem, being beautiful. And just being happy that's what it that's what this smells like <laughs> these ones you can actually find in france but they ship it everywhere so don't worry just a beautiful fragrance just so well put together and yeah it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time both for summer and winter and that's it guys that's the end of this video i hope you guys made it this far and i hope you enjoyed everything you watched here i know it's been a while but i promise to be more consistent and come back with content for you guys because i actually enjoy doing this link for most of the fragrances will be in the description box except for the ones from magno because they don't sell it like online but i'll link the pages where you can find these fragrances just in case they don't have it online so yeah i hope you do come with me on this new journey and you stick around because i'm gonna learn so much from you guys and you guys can also learn so much from me and let's just exchange experience and hold hands look at me talking all kumbaya like a pastor so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing see you guys on my next video love you bye